friends and welcome back to another video. So today I wanted to quickly go through the sketchbook because today is finally the sketchbook tour for the sketchbook. Um, if you guys don't remember, I had two different sketchbooks that kind of look like this. I have the pink version and the blue version and we, I finally finished the blue one. Um, I've definitely been a little bit rough with it, so we'll get into that, but this is Lily Pichu's Stay Comfy sketchbook that went on sale I think a year or two ago, and I believe it's not back in stock, so I do not know where you can get these anymore or if you can get these anymore. Here's the front, here's the side that I kind of busted, and here is the back. Okay, but let's just take a look inside the sketchbook. Um, here you can see, I don't actually don't know if you can see, I'll put a picture. Um, the starting date was June 22nd, 2021 to November 1st, 2021. So today is actually November 2nd, so I finished this last night. Um, and I'm not gonna lie, October, like Inktober or any kind of drawing challenge really propelled this to help me finish the sketchbook at a decent time. I tend to finish sketchbooks between four to eight months, I think is usually my range. Um, but this one took about, I think just over five months to finish. And you can see, I just put some random stickers or things that I've had from previous packaging. So these are Josh, Josh here, um, stickers that were on top of her washi tapes. And then the cover is Wanu, kind of in one of the Who Alive outfits, painted in gouache and little bonbongi in the corner. I do apologize if there's like light peering through. I'm gonna try my best to make my sh like make my hand block it. Okay, but moving on. So I kind of busted this book. So you can see that the the cover of it has been ripped from the spine, or not the cover. The front page has been ripped from the spine. So um, this is gonna explain why I have packing tape in the center of here. But here is Noel, and yeah, just paint painted her here with wash for a little bit and then I decided to sketch her out really quick. Little sketches. I'm trying to plan something out. So I'm trying to make up a new persona for myself relating to either sprouts or clovers as usual. And I'm thinking of more of a blue teal outfit or something. So that was just planning. So I'm using blue Paul point pen to do the planning for this. few more right here. I do like this one. I think it's really cute. I just, I'm not sure about the outfit, but I do like this idea. Um, here's some thumbnailing from the PUBG um, sponsored video. More pen doodles and they're just basically pen and then accompanied with watercolor with a similar hue or color with it. So yeah, I really like this one. I think it looks really cute. The 17 doodles, so you have Wanu, 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 Wanu. Actually, I think all of them are Wanu. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna find something to put under the sketchbook to prop this up. So you have Masaki, kind of in different outfits, similar method of ballpoint pen and watercolor, and then we have my OC Sato as well. A few more. Um, kind of playing around using purple pen, so keeping the palette between kind of like purples, pinks, and blues. More with the orange pen, and then using more of the orangey yellow for the washes. I really do like the one of June. All of these are June, <laughs> so this one is the one I really like. Um, some girl sketches. So I think I was sketching Lovely's Jisoo. So for these ones. And then I think these ones were either models that I found on Pinterest. Or I think these might have been Jisoo and GA. But just stylized stuff. Um, just playing around. Actually, I think this is the only one that was Jisoo. I think these two are models on Pinterest. Here we have Xinyan doodles. I love sketching her a lot. I just haven't sketched her in a while, but yeah. Painting was a little bit more difficult. Um, I think it's because of my application and the sketchbook was really poorly done. We have Xinyan. Um, more gouache. So we have Wuzi and Dogyam. 
And then we have two of Jong Han and then one of Joshua. I believe this was for a sketchbook doodles video. But yeah, but these were done with gouache. Next we have Yoimiya. So I was playing some watercolor or like potential watercolor pieces. So I have two sketches of her and using watercolor to kind of plan out a little bit of lighting. Random doodles. So we have two of Kaya, a potential concept, Goro, just the random body and Goro. And then I just have some miscellaneous stuff to fill up space. So we have Bennett sticker and then washi tape. I believe his was washed out, so that's why I have an extra of him. More doodles with ballpoint pen and watercolor. So right here we have, I think, Wonu, Wonu, Dogyam, Dogyam, Dogyam. So just pink and blue, but with a pink ballpoint pen. So this was done in July. I think actually, this was done before my birthday, the day before my birthday. Um... So I think I wanted to do some kind of flower study type of thing here. And then I just threw in a bunch of stickers and product stuff in here to test out some Sealies. And then a quick sketch of Yan Fei. Here we have Barbara and Jean in their kind of like the cafe outfits I thought were really cute. I might revisit this because I really do like their outfits. Um, and then here I was testing out screen tone for the first time and yeah, it was quite fun to use, but I wanted to draw a Kaida Haru from um, the, the VTubers, kind of VTuber scene, I guess. So yeah, Kaida Haru, the one of Xing Cho, which is, if you would like to watch the process of this, there is a video on this. So yeah, just did screen toning and some inking. Um, another Xing Cho doodle, which I ended up painting for a friend later. Masaki plus new watercolors that I got from Holbein. So a concept that I would like to do in the future. And then random Masaki that looks really derped out. Uh, Sato doodles. So I rarely draw my OC Sato, but I've been drawing her a little bit more in the sketchbook. So I was trying to figure out her outfit again, and then picked a few markers to doodle her. You can check, like, you can tell when I'm like planning out colors. I have like a lot of swatches inside um, my sketchbook. More Yoimiya ones. So I believe this was for the planning for the Yoimiya video. So me planning how do I want to pose her, potential lighting, figuring out the hands and stuff. Um, so yeah, this one is the closest to the original I think that I did. Masaki, which kind of turned out derpy, so I scrap the footage some more just stylized doodles haven't done these in like a long time but it's kind of like a mixture of like my style and kind of like a semi-realism this is a fun way to sketch out faces another testing for kaida haru and i was testing out new paints and seeing what color scheme i could come up with and i figured it works really well with kaida haru um his color scheme um, I think these are with Copics. I wanted to see if Copics worked in these, like in the sketchbook. So we have Dogyam and Wonu. And didn't work as well as I remembered. Um, but it might be just because of the paper type as well. Another sticker. Oh, this is planning for balls or A or Raiden Shogun's, um, that piece, the digital piece I did. And then that was kind of all these as well. Me planning out, how do I... Wanted to draw her sword coming out from her chest. Um, sketches of Chong Yun. So recently, or more recently, I guess, my brother has bought kind of these pose books. And I've been using them as well, so I decided to use them to figure out some fighting poses for Chong Yun. And then I have two female doodles down here, just to quickly sketch them in. So I did them with like a purple pencil crown first and then sketch Chong Yun on top. A few more. So I've been like, there's kind of like phases in the sketchbook. So you can see I went for like that ballpoint pen watercolor phase for a little bit in here or even like using markers and stuff. But then I kind of went to this phase of drawing or either finding references of poses 
of people, like actual people and stuff, and doing gesture studies a little bit more with like the purple pencil. And then I'll go over with the purple pencil again and do kind of like the outfits and then go in with a normal pencil so I can kind of flesh out the character. Um, but yeah, we have Kazuha. Kazuha. Um, more Sato doodles. Another painting of Sato. Uh, now we have Xing Cho, so same method, same reasoning. I really do like these ones though. I think the more value that I put, I like it a lot more because of how more refined it looks. Here are ones of Bennett. I actually really like this page actually. Also with the, the color blocking, but also I do like the facial expression of this one. Even though I usually don't draw the nose like this, but thought it was a little bit more necessary because the simple nose just didn't work for this one. But yeah, his shoe, him jumping, kind of him turning around, then kind of him looks like he's charging up. Uh, Kokomi studies. There's a lot of these ones I would like to do for painting, like this one. I also think these look really elegant, so I, I really do like a lot of these ones. <laughs> I think they look really pretty. And then I took the um, Crayola Super Tips to do these little water patterns in the back. Um, Kokomi again, just doing a few more. Tiny little Yanfei. Yanfei again, just a different concept of coloring. Color blocking a bit. Albedo, which you guys would have saw from a Sketchbook Doodles video. So I have two sketches here, one of him sitting, him standing. And then him with a bouquet. I believe this is when it was his birthday, so that kind of helps date whenever this page was done. Uh, planning out idol venti. I have a random Kaya in here. Looks very disappointed. Um, but yeah, planning out a little outfit done with ballpoint pen and watercolors. We plan out the colors. It's kind of derpy. Um, here we have Wanu doodles and two of Jong Han. I really liked his song Dream, so I wanted to doodle something to remember. This was done on September 17th. So you can see I've made very little progress in two months um, compared to how I would usually like to speedily work in my sketchbook. Um, but trying to paint a little bit. I think this is around Chuseok. Koji sketches, so pencil and then quick washes, like very light washes with watercolor. I really do like the shapes of these though. I think it looks really nice. Xingqiu, who looks evil. And then some of him in kind of like casual clothing, because I wanted to focus more on the shapes that you can create for like really bulky looking clothing and fabrics. So these are very fun to do. I highly recommend if you find any pictures of models wearing clothing or even if you just think it up yourself like these ones. Some of Koji. I believe I was looking up at references of outfits for like just males in general. So decided to put Koji in a few. Similar concept of trying to block out shapes though. Um, I wanted to do a concept with um, really vibrant looking glasses on my OCs, but yeah, I don't know if any of these really work. And I was trying to make up a new, like a new OC, but I think he resembles too much of um, OCs that I've seen from other artists. So I'm trying to avoid these ones, I think. I might go with something like this. I kind of like this one. Not the color scheme. I do like this hair color though, but I do want a character with darker hair. <laughs> Uh, more Chong Yoon doodles. So similar to the other one where I was using that really lavender purpley color to do it. Um, so yeah, I use more of a cool gray to do the under sketch. Use the pencil and the cool gray to kind of color in and flesh out the character. So all of these are of Chong Yoon. Kazuha again. So these ones are from the book. Or let's see. This is from the book, and these ones are... I don't know what these ones were from. They might have been from my imagination because of how janky they look. And then we have Bennett and Kaya. I do like the one of Bennett, though. Uh, Wanu doodles. So we have Wanu with a 
camera and kind of doing the cross hatching thing again to build up the shapes. Painting of Warner with dandelion puffs and yeah, just me filling up a spread. Uh, Masaki... I don't know what I was doing here. I think I was trying to plan out something and I potentially was gonna paint this, but I think I was not in a painting mood after this one didn't come out the way how I wanted it to be. So this is in October because this is the start of like Inktober or some kind of a drawing challenge. So yeah, sadly Shua's face kind of got botched from the previous page behind it. I was like layering up the Crayola super tips and then watering it down with a water brush and I didn't know it was gonna seep through the page similar to how like alcohol markers does. So we had Bennett for day one, at day two was um, Yanfei and I thought I was gonna stick with this throughout the whole thing but you'll see it kind of devolves into something else. Um, so this one's a mess. We have day three on this side um, because I thought I was gonna put the doodle here and then doodle everything around it but instead we kind of went day three, day four, day five, day six and then two little doodles to fill in the space. So we have Jonghan, we have Wanu, we have Masaki and Wanu again. I do like doing this, um, watering down the Crayola super tips to kind of get just a watery, like a watercolor effect, if anything. Day seven, we have D8. And then I have two paintings of June, which I was gonna do for a sketchbook doodles video, but I scrapped it. Here we have more doodles. So we have day eight, which is Xing Chou, which is for his birthday. And then day nine was Wanu. Day 10, which was 1010. So obviously Ju Hoshi. Ju Hoshi again with his little um, hamster bonbongi character. Do this spread, which is also for another sketchbook doodles video that you guys would have saw. But I really like kind of like this bluish green color with this kind of peach color together. A few more. So we have Goro, we have Wanu, which is for day 11. And then we have another one of Wanu. We have day 12, another Goro. Next page, day 13. So we have Masaki, kind of a back view of him. I have Goro and Kokomi stickers. I put hollow film on them so that they're kind of sparkly. And then Goba, Dogyam, sticker, and then Toma for day 14. And now you can see I've been kind of sticking to like kind of like a color palette per day um, for the doodle. And sometimes the doodle devolves into a whole spread. So we have day 15. Um, so we have D8, D8, D8. And then we have Dogyam down here and then two of Singguan. So yeah, the two of Sungwan I do like right here. And I do like the purple and like the purple and yellow together. I think it looks really pretty. Another one, so we did Shinyan. I was debating, I should have picked a different color so I could have colored in her skin tone. So please excuse this. I didn't want to give her blue skin. That was the thing. So yeah, I should have picked a better color scheme so I could color her skin the accurate value. So this is day 16. Then we have um, Sungguan, Sungguan, yeah, two of Sungguan. We have Mingyu, Vernon, and then June. So we kind of have this weird grayish blue color and a pop of red. So this is for Shin Yan's birthday. Next one is June's drama. So when his drama got announced, I decided to doodle a few more. So we have the yellow and the green. So this is day 17. Uh, day 18 was when the teaser came out, I think. If not, I was late to it, but yeah. I decided to do a little spread of the performance unit. So we have Hoshi, we have June, we have D8 and June again. Dino was not in the Pang um, highlight medley portion, so I didn't have a reference for him for that, but yeah. Um, so we have pink and green stuff. So we have day 19 is Sayu, so that was when Sayu's birthday happened. We have day 20, which is Dogyam's. Day 21, I switched to ballpoint pen and I drew Kazuha and did marker on top afterwards. I do like this one. The color scheme is quite pretty. Um, it's Kazuha again. And then 
even though I did these on the same day, I don't know why I considered this one for day 22. I don't know if you can see it. Day 22 is Mingyu, I guess. Um, even though this one would have counted. I was waiting for the comeback to happen, I think, is what I was doing. So I drew Chani, Mingyu, and then Kazuha's over here. I painted part, like, part of it in gouache. And then I think I had intentions of painting him in gouache, but I didn't do it, so I inked it. We have S-Coops. Painting in gouache. And we have two doodles down here. Or not two doodles, we have quick doodle um, to do day 23. So I have Dogyam and Wanu. And then I did two little quick sketches of some eyes. So we have Mingyu's eyes. And then we have Wanu's. I do like Wanu's a little bit more than Mingyu's, but I do like the highlights for Mingyu's on this kind of um, craft paper. Okay, so here's another weird spread. Um, new OC, still trying to figure this out. I still think he looks too close to another OC I've seen, so I'm gonna have to change this. Um, me testing out little washi tapes that I got from Joss here. And then... Day 24 was Dogyam. Quick one of Jonghan. Here we have Masaki. Just quick ones for kind of cute outfits I thought for him. Here I did wanted to do more of like clothing studies, similar to the ones I've done previously, where I'm just trying to block in shapes for the folds. Um, this one feels more like a fabric study because it's definitely less cross hatching and more of my how I usually render things if I wanted to do it more realistically. I lost the reference for this, so I kind of just stopped midway. Um, here's the planning for Hu Tao. So we have Hu Tao doodles all over here. I have little sucrose right here, so that's day 26. Here's day 25, which is Wonu. And I actually do like the monochromatic look here. Uh, day 27, I did three together. So we have Hoshi, we have Dino, and Mingyu. And it was based off of that photo of, I think, Mingyu was taking like a normal photo of Hoshi and then Chan had like that whole cameraman set up and he was like filming Hoshi, which I thought was cute. So that's day 27. Day 28, we had Kazuha's birthday. So I kind of did this kind of idolish looking pose and outfit for him. Uh, 29, some more of Kazuha, kind of more in a athletic wear kind of looking stuff simple kind of cop out for me uh and then i did little eyes so i did kazuha and yan phase i thought i was going to be able to fit three but i didn't measure correctly and not only that i actually didn't measure at all there was just strips of tape i was using and i thought it could fit one more comfortably here but it kind of touches the edge too much so i just left it at two uh another cop out day 30 i was really losing steam here um, so painted Masaki here with winter attire, another doodle of him down here. And then tiny little Masaki, or like tiny face, I guess. It's like the size of my thumb. But little quick painting of him. Masaki is an idol. And then the last page, which is my favorite page. Um, game over page or the goodbye page. Um, to help mimic the, the beginning. So if you guys remember, um, I think it was more recently, I like doing like a hello page and a goodbye page. So I think this is like the third or fourth sketchbook I've done this. So here's the hello page with Wanu as a gamer and it's one of the Who Alive outfit, which I really like. And then I decided to keep kind of like that pixel game theme for the ending. So we have Wanu and the other Who Alive outfit, which I really like, which is like a black cardigan over a kind of tan cream sweater. He had white headphones and then game over. If you like to see this come to life um, from the painting portion to the gouache portion, you can watch the sketchbook doodles video. Um, but yeah, then I have the little goodbye in pixel. And that is all. That is the end of the sketchbook tour. As usual, it's probably way over time. I, mean, I swear these are always like 30 to 40 minutes. So hopefully it's shorter than that. But it means that I need a new sketchbook to work in. And I'm in a little bit of a dilemma. So I do have this sketchbook, 
which I've started because it was supposed to be like a watercolor sketchbook, but everything I've drawn in it, I really don't like. Um, it kind of has a bit of a weird texture to it. It doesn't lay down as smoothly as I like, um, but we could, like I could use these, or not use these, use this sketchbook to um, just draw and stuff in it instead of just using it strictly as a watercolor or like wet media sketchbook. So we could use this one as my next one. I do have Tricky Wagon sketchbook right here, which is unopened, but I already know I'm gonna like the paper and the quality of this one already because she tends to order her sketchbooks along with um, a few other artists that I've ordered from before. So I'm aware of the paper type. Or I have two notebooks. So this one's my notebook, which you guys have seen. And this is the one I was using as kind of like the test page and like um, all that jazz. So I do have testing in the back and then some weird doodles in here to test out the medium. And I could use this notebook. Like it is a notebook. It has really thin paper. Um, but you can see I can still doodle in it and use it with the mediums I like. So it's not, it's not a bad sketchbook. Like I can't, it's not a bad book to use as a sketchbook. And then one of my friends from my Discord, I don't know how to explain my friendship with this person, um, but she's an online friend, but she also lives in Canada. Um, we often trade merch and stuff as well, so she traded me her version of her notebook, and I could also potentially use this one as the next sketchbook. Um, I don't know which sketchbook I'm going to be using. It's definitely one of these three that I'm going to be using. I feel like I'm going to use my notebook first. And if I really like it, I will use this one next and then save this one for later. Because I feel like if I use this one and I know I'm already going to like it. And if I don't like this one, then I'm going to be stuck with two of the paper type that I know isn't supposed to be for a sketchbook. Um, so yeah, we'll alternate. I think I'm going to use mine first because it's already open and used. And then we'll use Tricky Wagons to kind of have as a buffer in between these sketchbooks. And then I will use my friend's notebook for the last one. Hope you guys enjoyed watching me um, run through the sketchbook for the sketchbook tour. And I'll talk to you guys next time with another video. Bye!